Yo, what's going on, Fedsters? Welcome back to another fun day fishing with Fred. We just pulled up to the pond that I fished in my previous video where I shared with you guys the um, Strike King Rate and Perfect Plastic Kit. You guys seem to really like that video, and I decided to come back here to this pond and bring the float tube today. That way we can possibly fish some of these tulies and uh, some of this grass a little bit more effective out on the water. Like I said in my last video, it seems to always be windy here, and I think being in the tube is going to give us advantage. We're going to try to fish those rock piles like we did last time, flip the tulies, same thing, see if we can catch more fish on the float tube. We got to air it up, get ready, get tied up, let's do it. Alright, Fetsters, we're out here. Hopefully, we won't get bit by no turtles. But I don't think it's gonna happen. We got two rods with us today. Let's start flipping this rock pile, see if we can find it. And then we'll line up with it while the wind's not so bad right now. See if we can. Okay, I think we found the rocks. They are not out as far as I thought they were. I just want to fish these rocks for a little bit and then we'll go flip like these tulies and start flipping stuff close to the bank. I really want to find these rocks though. There they are. There they are. Come on. I know there's fish on there. Now we figured out kind of where they, where the rocks are. We can line up with them and fish them parallel, so we can stay in the strike zone a lot longer. That's about where it was. Already on rocks, so cool. Stuck on the rocks. Got it off. Nice. I don't want to have to go all the way over there. Don't snag it. <clears throat> so here at this pond, this is pretty much really the only offshore structure I know of. Is this man-made cement pile out here? We're gonna milk it. Cause I caught some good fish off this rock pile before.
don't know. Come on, buddy. Yes. 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 Heck yes, guys. We're recording. Hope we're recording. So, first one of the day. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all on that. Rage crawl. Flipping the toolies. I've been flipping the whole pond pretty much and this seems like the got one bite earlier. But there you go. Nice pale guy. Clean fish. Nice. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. I don't remember where I left off at. Uh, we were catching hella little catfish the other night over there. Really? Yeah, with a, with a pool, pool net. About like two or three inches long. This got to be a mom in here then. A mama, huh? You ain't scared in that fucking seat with your feet dangling down? Nah. This is my shorts. And your legs? Yeah. Don't your legs go into waders? No. You just got shorts and your legs are bare? Oh, you're a ball, dude. There ain't nothing in here that... I know. If I was in, like, Florida, I'd be worried. I would be worried, like, dude, there's I'm six, fish, so... That fucking fish I seen the other night, bro. It was way bigger than me, dude. I don't know where it's at in here or how deep it is, but it was huge, dude. I seen it in the nighttime with a flashlight, sure as hell. Really? That's crazy. Well, the angle is a part. But the cat we seen is about this big of fucking about 10 pound catfish. That's cool. Hey, that turtle I seen, I'm not joking, bro, was that big at least. What? I swear to God, dude. Hey, I was sitting over there fishing, and it was like in the evening time, and it fucking came across the water, it's back. And I, it like got eye level with me in the water, like I could see it. it was <laughs> David Lamb, the ones that own the pond, uh, told me that fucking, there's a big turtle in there. I caught one a month ago, like the size of a five gallon bucket lid. That's crazy. With a fucking nine crawler. That's why I was saying, fuck, that one gets in my water. <laughs> That's funny. Choking on sticks. Survivor, man. Sounds pretty fun. Catch a bluegill. Just put it on the hook. I'm dead serious. Hey, I had my pool hey, right over there in the drill. bank and I put a bluegill on there. My oldest boy caught me with just the hook. As soon as it hits out in the water, I felt the pool like that. Just go, Poo! I had him all the way up to the bank, dude, and um, one of my boys went out to the water to grab him and I was telling him, don't grab the line. Right when I said that, uh, I think it's grab the fish and he got away, dude. My cousin, uh, Dane, he went back to go by Yosemite. Really? I caught a bass like a month ago right there. That bass my cousin got was huge, dude. And we're over there, I was on the bank right here, and I'm up on top taking a picture, and I told him how to hold him. And he's holding him by the water, and all of a sudden that fish just goes, and his arm goes like that, and the fucking fish went right in the water. I was like, oh my god. I'm like, dude. That's crazy. That's cool. Thank you. Are you keeping it? 
Nah. Let him go, let him grow. Out there on those rocks. Hey, fatty, huh? Fish. That's a really good fish. Get me out. I got bent my hook out like nothing. Fish, man. Another good one. No, 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 no. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, dude. Yes, 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 Fred Stars, we doing it, we doing it, that's a stud dude, that is a stud, keep getting them in the same spot right in the corner of the mouth too, dude what a stud, Nice fish, man. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, man. Alright, Fetsters. There we go. Third one of the day. Second one off this rock pile right here. I've been working pretty hard for these fish today. Got a couple bites in the Tuleys, and then it seemed like they all were out deep. So, let's get a little release shot on this guy. Probably the biggest one of the day. Probably just under three pounds. What a good day. Awesome guys. So I've just been using that rage kit pretty much. Um, I know there's some rock piles out here and I know there should be fish on them. I just don't know what they are eating. And this water's a little stained too, so I wanted something with a lot of action and that rage crawl definitely has a lot of action. Seems to be working. Hopefully we can catch one more, but I just want to say thanks for coming back to the channel. Thanks for fishing with Fred. Let's see if we can get one more fish. If not, I'll see you guys at home. Nice little guy right here. He was hanging out there with them big dogs. All right, Fredsters, back at the house. Someone mentioned in a, in a past video that I should talk about the rig and technique and stuff that I was uh, using to catch fish in the video. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you guys what I had luck with at the pond today. Just a simple little Texas rig, but I want to show you guys the way and uh, talk about some stuff why I think I needed what I needed. Started off fishing the pond for, we thought we were going to fish the Tuleys a lot, so I brought my heavy rod. Cascine Royal Legend Heavy 7.3 and then I wanted heavy line, but I didn't want to use braid because braid makes noise whenever you're you're uh, you're pitching the, the two leaves when you when you pit, when you flip the bait or try to pull your bait out, it makes a weird scratching sound, and I've heard that that turns the fish off. Sorry, this branch is bugging me. It was tickling my ear. Got trees growing in the truck, Fredsters. So, anyways, I've heard that fish really don't like that noise. So I decided to just go with some heavy fluorocarbon today. So I had some 20 pound fluorocarbon on the um, Abu Garcia Pro Max. Because we were going to be fishing this heavy cover. I wanted something strong. So yeah, we, we started, I thought that was where the hot bite was going to be. But 
as the day went on, we figured out that that rock pile we started fishing at was really where we should have just kept fishing because we caught more fish there than anywhere else. And it's weird because I was in the tube and I'm halfway in the water and real shallow, it's real warm. And once you start going to a certain depth, it gets a lot cooler. So it just makes sense that these fish would be out there. And that's really the only offshore structure I, I know that's at that pond so far. So I definitely wanted to fish that spot and good thing we did because we ended up catching a few good ones on this rig right here. On a 3 8 ounce little uh, lead bullet weight, unpegged. I just went cheap, I don't have no tungsten so I just got a real heavy weight because it's real windy there and I wanted that bait to stay on the bottom and I wanted to feel those rocks. So I used a heavy weight and for the hook, I was at the at Dick's the other day, Dick's Sporting Goods, and just saw these trocar hooks, 4 out mag worm hooks and they seem heavy duty, they seem that they would do the job and they did today. I didn't lose any fish today and uh, these hooks kept them pinned. They're super sharp. Yeah, kept them hooked. So that's pretty much what, what we caught fish on today. All fish I think were caught on the rage crawl. Like I said earlier in the video, that water is really stained and it's, it's kind of nasty. So we wanted something with a lot of action because it's summertime. These fish, they're active and uh, everything else is too. So we wanted to kind of match the time of year. I bring two rods with me. I brought the heavy rod with that 20 pound and the um, rage crawl on there. And I also brought another rod with 10 pound fluorocarbon just in case the bite was really tough and I had to milk some bites or whatever. I didn't really use the white rod as much as I used the heavy rod today. Whenever I got to the rock pile, I, I was definitely not going to use it in the Tuleys because 10 pound, it's just not good in the Tuleys, no. But I was thinking when I got to the to the rock piles out there that maybe I had to finesse some bites or whatever. So I, so I brought it out there with me. And when we got there, I used it. And as you guys seen with the heavier rod, I could snap that that uh, Texas rig out of, the, out of the rocks and get it unsnagged. With the 10 pound, it, it seemed like there was a lot more stretch and I couldn't get that snap and that pop. So I pretty much stuck with the heavy rod and it worked out a lot better for me. I was getting a lot less snags and I don't know if that's a tip for you guys. Maybe maybe it'll help you out a little heavier line, I don't know. But it was definitely helped me out. I could actually pop that line out and get unsnagged with the, that lighter line I had to go over and actually get on top of the snag and jiggle it out. But yeah, other than that, we stuck to the heavy rod. So wanted something fast acting and sure enough, we just had to milk it out there. It's a, it's a tough spot to fish, but we just had to figure it out and we got it done. So I just wanted to share with you guys kind of some of the stuff I was using today in the video. And uh, hopefully you can go out there and catch some fish too, so. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below if I should um, take the tube elsewhere. If you guys want to see some more lake videos. I know one of my subscribers told me to go up to the lake and do more tube fishing up there. And I'm probably going tomorrow. So comment down below what you guys want to see. More bank fishing or more tube, tube fishing. I'm really getting good at landing those fish on the tube. I need to adjust my camera a little bit. But it's a work in progress. So let me know. But... You guys have fun, catch fish. I'll see you guys next time.